What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the show. And today we've got something super special, fresh out of the box. The Moto Guzzi Mandelo V100. I am super pumped to take this thing for a ride. Uh, this is like Moto Guzzi's big new flagship motorcycle. It has some wild technology in it. And you know what? Let's just, let's skip the preamble and go have some fun on this thing because I am dying to take this for a rip. <laughs> okay, guys, it is time for one of the bikes that A, I keep forgetting was coming out in 2023 and B, one of my most hyped bikes of 2023. I know, how can those both be true at the same time? Honestly, I don't know if... Uh, Piaggio Group did a good enough job hyping this thing up in the States. I don't actually get ads for anything anymore because uh, I'm one of those guys who will actually pay subs for uh, to avoid ads. So I don't, I don't see advertisements. I don't watch TV. I don't know if this is out there in the advertisement verse. Um, but I kept forgetting that it was coming out this year. Uh, in fact, it did not make my most hyped bikes of 23. And... It was simply because I forgot it was coming. It's not that like I'm not anticipating this motorcycle. I really am. Uh, from what I'm looking at, I'm looking at Moto Guzzi's Pan America right here. Um, this is a bike that's going to, in theory, in theory, revamp the company, which is awesome, and bring them into the modern era. Totally cool. But I don't know. I'm not sure if uh, the folks over at Piaggio Group, um, if they nailed the the ads on this one uh and that's that's just me speaking as a rider you know I, I i keep forgetting that this thing is a thing uh insofar as i actually literally know nothing about this motorcycle um and uh all i know is i got a walkthrough of the dash and i know it's like 17 grand so we're getting a very raw first impressions today and as you can see right here, this is one of the boxes that uh, the Mandelos came in, because it says Mandelo right there. But um, yeah, they have like, all of their bikes are already pre-sold. So the people who know about it are super hyped for it. Now, sitting on it, I'm gonna go ahead and say, it's smaller than I thought it was gonna be. I was looking at some pictures and I thought it was gonna be a very big motorcycle, but it's not. It's actually, you know, it's bigger than a naked bike, but it's not a full-size adventure bike. It's kind of like that, you know, more svelte, sporty package, which is totally cool. Um, fully, or, uh, fully active uh, suspension, basically off the Tuono, from what I've been told. Bunch of rider modes that you can go in and adjust. I've actually reset them to factory. Um, and you know what? Let's just go do it. I actually don't know how much, I'm assuming this is a thousand cc's, um, but that's just, just a guess. All right. Ooh, that's some pretty good torque right off the jump. Sounds great too with the stock pipe. That's, that's a great little sound. Let's, let's do that again. And it does the Gootsy thing where it, uh, goes side to side. I love that. Uh, whoops. So, <laughs> as I miss the one to two right there, uh, it is worth pointing out that this motorcycle has like uh, 65 miles on it. And it's going to take some time for these transmissions to break in. Uh, the guys at AF1, they warned me that uh, Gucci transmissions, they do really take that full 600 miles to uh, start breaking in. So I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna blame the bike for that. <laughs> yeah, right there is some good roll on power. <laughs> I mean, it's not like, it's not as good, gonna, you know, like blow your mind. It's not like, um, it's not super naked territory. Uh, it feels, a lot like my Hyperstrata, in fact. Um, definitely a lot more torquey than my Hyperstrata, uh, but that that kind of roll on power, that feels like my Hyper. Oh, 
Oh, that is just good velvety power out of that. I like that a lot. That feels lovely. That's excellent roll-on power from this thing. Holy cow. <laughs> you can have a lot of fun with this, guys. You really can. All right, dipping it down into the first. Oh, my God. That suspension feels so good. <laughs> That is every bit the Tuono suspension. This thing is unreal. <laughs> wow. Holy, <laughs> holy shit. You know, you hop on a motorcycle and you're like, it's got active suspension. Of course it's going to feel good. And then you get it on the side of the tire and you're like, okay, this is something different here. Oh. Okay, Mr. Mandela, we're going to have some fun today. <laughs> I came in with no preconceived notions of what this motorcycle was going to be like. I haven't watched a single review on this motorcycle. And already, this thing is just like, whoa. <laughs> wow. Oh man, okay, yeah, you could, let's see, is, it, is the cruise control going to work like it does on the Aprilia's? Yeah, it does, okay. Cruise control! And, wait, hold on, hold on, let me see if I can find it. Uh, come on, come on, where is it? <laughs> Automatic racing windscreen! <laughs> oh god, this thing is so cool! <laughs> Okay, all right, let's get this thing out on a twisty road because obviously this thing's going to just crush highway miles. It is so comfortable, even if the foot pegs are a little bit high. Uh, let's see what it's like on a twisty road because I got to believe this thing's just going to crush it. All right, guys, all right, I, I got to show you this. This is the coolest thing in the world. Watch, watch my knees. Watch my knees. Watch what happens. 40 miles an hour. Come on. Ah, the arrow goes up. <laughs> That's so cool. It has wings. <laughs> That's so fucking cool. <laughs> oh, man. I was playing with it on the highway. I don't know if it really does anything. I got to try it a little bit more, but <laughs> so fucking cool. Oh, man. Between that and the automatic lowering and raising windscreen, which I know this is no new technology or anything. Uh, like, big touring bikes have had automatic windscreens for a while. But that's so cool! Oh, that's so cool! Oh, I'm easily impressed sometimes. <laughs> oh. oh, no! Oh, oh. Okay, that was my testiculars. Ow! Yeah, the suspension is actually quite stiff. Um, I know, shocker, right? It came right off the Tuono. Uh, uh, I'm sure they modified it a little bit, but it's 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 very stiff. Um, it's not like in touring mode. It's this plush, you know. Uh, sofa on wheels kind of situation it's still it's still pretty goddamn sporty suspension it, it can still get it in touring mode it just has a little bit more dive you can go in and uh, actually adjust your clickers manually i did see that but uh you know if i got the semi-active suspension i kind of want to just use the settings that it's already got in it Okay, let's get let's get after it a little bit through these first few corners. Okay, so yeah, <laughs> holy cow, those Brembos feel excellent. They feel excellent. They're not like they're super well set up. They're not they're not grabby. They're not. Um, they're not overpowered. It doesn't feel like you're grabbing them and then suddenly you're coming to a complete stop, but it's in there. They're, they're, this is like a one finger brake lever. You can, you can do so much work with just your middle finger 
as you're riding. And I love that feeling. <laughs> wow. You could push this motorcycle so hard if you really wanted to. God, that torque. The torque on this is excellent. It's, um, it's, it's really, really broad and usable. Like, you don't really need to rev this motorcycle out, given it goes to 10,000 RPM here, but you don't really, you don't really want to push it that hard because the torque is just so fat and juicy on it that you really don't need to go much past 8,000 RPM. I mean, I'm sure there's a ton of power. I actually don't know how much this is making, um, but the, the torque, the torque is where it's at on this thing. Now I will say, uh, one to two with the quick shifter, it doesn't seem like it's working. Like, so yeah, I can't get it to go down um, with the quick shifter. But the thing is like three to two, it does it just fine. It's got its auto blipper. So I'm gonna just chalk that up to the uh, transmission being brand new. Um, my KTM, yeah, and a lot of KTMs that I've ridden have had kind of clunky transmissions when they first break in and then they get better. But the thing is, that's the only problem area on this motorcycle. Um, and I'm completely content to just clutch it first to second and then use the quick shifter through the rest of them. That, that really doesn't bother me at all. In fact, that's how I used to do it on my KTM was I would clutch oh man even low speeds wow that's good it turns so nicely but yeah so I'd clutch it one to two and then i would quick shift the rest of the way i i can tell you right now this thing is worth every penny of its asking price i don't know exactly what that is i think it's like around 17 grand yeah this is a 17,000 motorcycle for sure absolutely you're talking like 19 out the door yep uh-huh Wow, it, it just it shifts side to side so well. And one thing I like about it is it's not it's not a super smooth ride. Um, a lot of these modern V twins nowadays, they're like they've done a really good job of isolating the vibrations so that it doesn't just it doesn't feel all that meaty when you're uh, when you're riding it. It, it. You don't get any buzz through the handlebars. There's no there's no feeling between you and the engine. There's a lot of that going on here. Uh, you feel very connected to this engine as you're riding it. Okay, now I am a little low on gas, so I'm gonna try to not run out, but I still need to do a little bit of a pull here. So let's go from 20. Oh, there's that, yep, that new transmission again. <laughs> Yeah, this is a fast motorcycle, man. This is a this is a properly quick bike. But again, it's not like it's not it's not set your hair on fire fast. It's like it's fun fast. Um, there's that line with motorcycles where you're on it and you're like, this is the, I don't want to pull the throttle all the way open on this thing. That's that feels like too much power. Uh, for what I'm doing. No, this this is a great, great amount of power. Um, but dyno, if I had to guess, feels like I don't know, 70-ish foot-pounds of torque, something like that. Maybe 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 mid 60s, and like 110 to 125 horsepower would be my guess. Um, I have no clue. I'll actually put it up on screen. Because I'm curious now how close I got with the butt dynos. I'm gonna guess 65 torques and no, I'm gonna guess I'm gonna guess 70 torques and 125 horsepower. That that's my guess. So it feels like it's a little bit more potent than my Ducati, but not significantly. God damn! That feels so good. Oh, it feels so excellent. This is this is not what I was expecting when I got on this bike at all. I was I was expecting this to feel like a old school kind of classic motorcycle a la standard Moto Guzzi operating procedures. I was expecting it to feel like, you know, that Italian heritage kind of bike. It was just big so that it was set up for sport touring. 
No, 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 no. I could not have been more wrong. I mean, there's plenty of classic Moto Guzzi in here. The, um, the way that there's that sort of vibration through the handlebars from the engine is great. I love that feeling. And the, the um, obviously we've got the opposed V-twin here. We've got the shaft drive, I think. Yeah, it's a shaft drive. Um, uh, the, tor the torque is so good though. This is a thoroughly modern engine and it feels like it. Like, um, I'm actually gonna tell you a story. So uh, maybe I can find this comment. When I did the V85 TT versus the BMW, uh, with Whitney, Shade Tree Surgeon actually popped up in the comments section and he was like, yeah, I really like the V85. It's a really cool motorcycle. It's beautiful. But for the life of me, I can't imagine why Moto Guzzi put such a boring engine in the bike. And you know, I, I enjoyed it, but looking back on it now, he does have a point. The engine wasn't like... It wasn't gonna wow you. It was like a, uh, it was like a V-twin version of like a 900-ish CC parallel twin. It wasn't. It wasn't like, oh whoa, holy cow! This is a oh whoa, holy cow engine. This is awesome. I really like the feel of it. And then just the rest of the package, man. There's so much going on in this motorcycle. It's actually gonna take a long time for me to really digest it, but. This is one of those cases where you get on a bike and you just know, you just know that it's going to be awesome. Uh, let's come up with a couple of just little things that uh, I don't love so we don't end up completely effusive. Um, feels like seat to peg is a little tight. Uh, it's, it's a little bit cramped for me, I'm not gonna lie. Um, there's plenty of room for an aft, but, you know, up and down, the, the seat to peg is too, too tight for me. Uh, I'm going to see if that changes, but, you know, maybe there's like a taller seat. That would be more comfortable. Uh, what else? What else? Um, I guess you could say that if you want this thing to just be ready to rock and roll right out of the box, it is. It totally is. But much like a lot of bikes with technology, there's a big learning curve when it comes to, uh, when it comes to menu diving. Like, so you press and hold the back button and uh, I think that's gonna reset, but you go in and then there's all of this stuff here, you know, where you can like turn stuff on and on. Oh, whoops. Uh, how did I get there? It was this and then in and like the headlamp, you can do manual, auto, emergency, shift light at 6,000, quick shifter up and down, emergency brake, like, the, and the emergency brake, by the way, it's just, it turns the lights on, be like, oh shit, I'm braking really hard, be careful, no, don't run up behind me. Um, there's a lot of technology in this motorcycle, and if you want just a, you know, an easy ride, that can be that can be a bit much especially if you dive into like the manual dynamic like look at all this crap man front compression rebound uh compression rebound this is all just the factory settings like let's go let's do a quick reset on it yeah so that's what it says coming from the factory um and then i think you can yeah so if you want the front firmer on the dynamic like there's so there's so much stuff in here that you actually need to learn about. But if you're one of those guys or gals who wants a motorcycle that can, I, I don't wanna say grow with you necessarily, but one that you can just like, every time you turn the key, you find a new little feature on it. This is one of those bikes. <clears throat> so with all of that being said, guys, this has been a stellar first impression from the Moto Guzzi V100 Mandelo and I am doing a full ride review on this thing. Uh, I do wanna say here at the end, guys, I have heard what some of y'all have been saying about there being too many bike reviews on the channel. Um, I totally agree. Uh, I'm trying to scale back the 
amount of reviews on the channel. Uh, I want to do them specifically on bikes that are new and interesting or just really cool. Uh, I don't want to do them on just every motorcycle and flood the channel with these reviews. I want to do some other stuff, and so I'm really digging my teeth into different projects nowadays. But this, I mean, come on. Would you have been okay with me skipping an opportunity to do a full day in the saddle review on this? So if you're interested in that, that is going to be coming out in the next week or so. And uh, until then, I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you later.